Hello, and welcome to Unity Church on the Mountain from my home. The title of the talk today is Knights in White Satin. But let's begin by affirming together our opening statement. There is only one presence and one power in my life and the universe, God. And together, let's just breathe, breathing a little deeper than normal and releasing, just gently breathing in, filling the lungs and then breathing out. And we bring our awareness to this present moment. And let us affirm together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Some of you may know or may be reminded of the title of the talk today, Nights in White Satin, as being a song by the Moody Blues. And it is. But it's not really the, the topic. The, the song is not the topic. I, uh, we, could, we could call this talk oneness. And that would be an apt title. So I'd like to begin with a verse of scripture from the Gospel of John. And I'll be reading from the George Lomsa translation from the ancient Eastern manuscripts. So in the Gospel of John, chapter 10 and verse 30. I and my father are of one accord. Nice, short, and sweet. Other translations just simply say, I and my father are one. But George Lamsa added this other, well, he didn't add it. He kept it from the Aramaic. Are of one accord. We're in harmony together. And what is this word that's translated as I am, or, or I am my father are, which is an I am statement? In the Aramaic, it's that same word I've talked about before. I is really inanna, which is I, I. To say simply I and would be inna, but it's not inna, it's inna, na which is I, I. So he's talking about the highest part of me, that perfect potential that is within me and is always there. We call it the Christ. And indeed, every time in the, in the Gospels, when Jesus refers to the Father, he's talking about the Christ within him. So, inana, the I, the highest self within me, and that Christ consciousness, we are the same and we are in harmony with one another. We are the same vibration of energy and information that is the Word. In whom we live and move and have our being, we are all in this together. So now I'd like to go to the daily word from a few days ago. This is the daily word that I'll be reading from. Um, I, I want to I want to emphasize for you that the daily word is published by Unity World Headquarters, which you also may know of as Silent Unity. 
Silent Unity has maintained a 24-7 prayer vigil for over a hundred years. Every day, every hour of every day, every minute of every hour for over a hundred years. And their, their saying is, this light shines for you. And there's an 800 number. If you'll just Google Silent Unity on the internet, you can find that number. I'll, I'd give it to you, but I don't have it right here off the top of my head. So this Daily Word message is from Friday, June the 10th, just a few days ago, of, of 2022. And the word is oneness. And the affirmation is, I am one with God. So first I'd like to read the message and then get a little more deep with it. Feeling at one with God begins with deep faith in God's presence and power in my life and the universe. This faith means I feel God as close as my heartbeat and as near as my next breath. Whether I am in nature, perhaps walking through a forest or strolling along the seashore, or on a bustling city street, I sense the presence of God everywhere. Oneness with God means being at peace with life. It is the harmony I feel in the company of others and the contentment I feel in times of solitude. It is my tranquil mind, full heart, and the empowerment and freedom of knowing the awesome creative power of God is always mine to draw upon. Faith that God dwells within every star, tree, and being keeps me blissful, awash in the ocean of divine goodness that is everywhere present. And then the scripture is from John chapter 10 and verse 30. And here we have the other translation that goes, The Father and I are one. And I just read that for you from the Lamsa translation. So one more time, the word is oneness. And the affirmation, I am one with God. That's not the same as saying that I am God. That is off, that's just, <laughs> that's just taking too much. To say that I'm one with God has the meaning of, I am an expression of God in this universe. God is the vine, and we are the branches. And so, yes, we are one with God, but we're just one of the branches, one of the many branches that are, that are God expressing in this universe, and each one of us unique and beautiful in our uniqueness. So we want to begin, this is what the Daily Word is telling us in the message, if we want to begin to feel this oneness, how do we go about doing that? We do that in our faith. When we, when we are in a place of faith, and it's not a place of belief, this is a place of knowingness, an intimate knowing. This word for knowing is the same as knowing our spouse. When we know, we're not knowing about something. We are actually knowing it. We are an intimate togetherness. Knowing. And it is in this knowing, knowing that God is closer to me than my own heartbeat, knowing that God is as close as my next breath and that constant flow in every moment of the rhythmic cycle of breathing in and breathing out. And that is how close we are. And it is in this knowing that we can experience oneness. We can feel this oneness when we're, oneness when we're in nature. That's an easy place for me to feel it. But I can feel it no matter where I'm at, whether I'm at work at the machine shop, whether I'm at church, 
whether I'm sitting under my favorite shade tree with my bare feet on the ground, I can experience this same oneness. And it's there for all of us. Oneness with God means being at peace with life. There's a certain harmony that goes with this knowing. Because how are we going to reach out and hurt what appears to be another when it is actually us? And that's what Jesus meant when he emphasized to love our neighbor as ourself. Because our neighbor is ourself. We are in this oneness together. It is in the harmony I feel in the company of others and the contentment I feel in the times of solitude. This oneness unites us together, whether we're physically in each other's presence or whether we are in solitude. We are still in this oneness. Take a deep breath and feel the oneness in this moment. So whether you're listening to this message halfway across the, the world, or whether you're just right down the road, we are together in this oneness. It is my tranquil heart, my, I'm sorry, my tranquil mind, my full heart and the empowerment and freedom of knowing the awesome creative power of God that is always mine to draw on. So I always have these things available. A tranquil mind. A tranquil mind doesn't mean that the thoughts are stopping. Don't get confused with that because we're human beings in this body and, and our minds are active. But a tranquil mind just allows those thoughts to come and go. A full heart, a heart that is full of spirit. When we empty ourselves by saying yes to God, then we're allowing our heart to become full of spirit. And now we have that empowerment and freedom of knowing the awesome creative power of God. And it's always there for us. It's always something we can draw on. It is our choice. Take a deep breath. Take a spirit break. Draw on that awesome creative power of God to help you solve whatever difficulty is presented to itself. Whether it's a something you have to do for work, or something you need to do at home and with family. It is the same creative power that allows us to act from the best place that's within us. Faith in God dwells everywhere. I'm sorry. It dwells everywhere within every star, tree, and being. Everywhere. There's nowhere we can go where, where God is not. And, and this, this awareness of this helps to bring us into that oneness. You see, these awarenesses, these ideas are things from the mind. But we bring them to mind to remind us of this, and it helps us to slip into this other type of awareness from the heart, this full heart, where we know, where we have that faith, and we know our oneness, our oneness with God. And since we're each in the same oneness with God, our oneness with each other. Faith that God dwells within every star, tree, and being keeps me blissful. Not so much happy, but blissful. And a wash in the ocean of divine goodness it's everywhere present, this goodness. We swim in it, we move in it. Everything we do is inside, it's a wash. 
with this divine goodness. The good with a capital G. I want to ask something of you today. And if it feels good in your heart, I would ask you to please hold me in your prayers. And as you remember that, I ask you to hold our entire church family in prayers. And that includes everyone who is part of this ministry, whether they listen online or whether they come to the physical building that is Unity Church on the mountain. We are one family. We are one in this oneness with God. And I ask the prayer to be something like this. You are an expression of the divine Christ light, attracting your greatest good and radiating that good to others. Let's reword it. We are a radiating center of Christ light, attracting to us our greatest good and radiating that good to others. So when you take this time for prayer and you would like to pray for me, for your church family, and for this ministry, begin by affirming this radiating center of the Christ light for yourself, attracting your greatest good and radiating that good to others. And then hold your intention and make this you are a center of the Christ light attracting your greatest good and radiating good to others and holding your attention that this you is a plural. It includes me and it includes everyone in our church family. And together we are a center of the Christ light, attracting our greatest good and radiating good to others. This is a, such a powerful prayer. It allows us to let go of our own attachments. It allows us to track the greatest good, not the good that we think that we need, not the good that we think someone else needs, but the greatest good that God knows what it is that we need. And that as this energy of good comes through us, it radiates outward into the world to be shared without any limitation and with no exceptions to each person in our community and in our world. We share this good. It radiates from us and propagates throughout the world instantaneously instantaneously. Hmm. You are a radiating center of the Christ light, attracting your greatest good and radiating good to others. We are one with God. We are one with each other. The day, the word of the day is oneness. And the affirmation is, I am one with God. And now, let us affirm together our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. I am the light. The love of God enfolds us. I am the love. The power of God protects us. I am the power. The presence of God watches over us. I am the presence. Wherever I am, God is, and all is well. Thank you. If you feel moved in your heart, 
and would like to give to this ministry. I ask for prayer. But you may also want to give your financial support. And if you feel openly moved to do this with no sense of obligation, then I invite you to go to unitychurchonthemountain.org. Scroll down and on the bottom left corner of the page, you'll see a yellow donate button. And you can safely donate to this ministry by clicking on that button. It's a beautiful day in my consciousness. And yours too. Thank you.